Fox over, take one. Say hello to the fox. The power roll. If I'm shining, everybody wanna shine. I'm street smart, nosy, and vocal, just like a fox. Am I a silver fox? <laughs> I couldn't possibly say. But I do feel like a bit of a rock star in this outfit. And I definitely plan on rocking out in this competition. Anyone who says I feel like it could be a rock star is not a rock star. Can't stay at home, can't stay at school. Yeah, I can be a bit of a party animal. You might find me slinking around the East End from time to time. She lives in the East End or she was in an East End band? The benefit of being a fox is that you can split your time between town and country. Tonight is my chance to sparkle on that stage, and I plan on doing just that. Good voice. This is a performer, not a reality star. Anything that's throwing me down. Fox, everybody! <laughs> so great. Fox. That was so incredible, wasn't it, Ken? It was amazing. Based on the clue package, I was thinking maybe you're like a personality or a reality show star. You are not. You are someone who's a trained performer just from top to bottom. You told a story from beginning to end. Yeah. Great job. So Great job. Good. Wow. So good. I, I also laughed at, because of the, the lights were shining on you, at some point, one of the audience was always being blinded. <laughs> <laughs> Davina, what did you think? I mean, extraordinary. I was not expecting that voice. I feel like this is a pop star mm. that's been naughty, that maybe went off the rails at some point, Ooh. and yeah. she's very <laughs> slinky. I was thinking, <laughs> maybe like... I'm in love with you! Maybe oh like an atomic kitten, Kerry Katona? Ooh. Yeah, Kerry Katona, atomic kitten. She could sing, she was very naughty. And there was definitely an accent. What did you think? I feel like I want to party with her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. You want to party I, with everyone? Yeah. I do. I'm loving the vibe. Yeah. I love the confidence. Clearly, this person knows her music. I'm very indecisive right now, so I don't actually have a name. Before in the clue, it said, you know, a silver fox. So we're yeah. thinking this is going to be an older person. And I thought the posture, the pose, the mm. confidence, maybe, maybe they're being literal. It's the fox. What if it's Sam Fox? You had that musical career. It could be Sam Fox. So I think it's possibly Sam Fox. a really 
good idea. Have you got a, uh, a clue for us, Fox? Well, for 30 years I've been collecting teapots. Collecting teapots? I think that's a clue to her age. I'm actually thinking now, kind of hearing the hint, maybe it's some sort of actor. I am going to shoot for the stars here. Yeah. Helen Mirren! <laughs> Helen Mirren is very sexy and very slinky. Helen, girl! Helen! Yeah. with you! I'm stood right next to them and I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I know exactly who this is. Who? Yeah, OK. OK, here we go! This is a comedian, someone who has really, really been a big influence on me, someone who can sing, someone who's so funny. She's very absolutely fabulous. She might be, and I quote, an amazing silver fox who collects teapots. Joanna Lumley collects teapots ever since she's been a doll. So Joanna Lumley, welcome to the Mass Singer UK. <laughs> You're welcome. I love his confidence. You're welcome. Yeah. Are you certain about the teapot collecting? I mean, look I it remember. up, Jonathan Ross. <laughs> look it up. I know stuff. I'm from Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> well, who they are will remain a closely guarded secret until the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fox. <laughs> The clue is confusing. I've got a teapot. What the fuck, say? They throw us clues which are supposed to take us off the scent. Maybe we were too close. What does the fuck, say? The panel think they are too close to the truth, but are they? Who do you think's behind the mask? I really rocked out my performance. I really enjoyed it, and the audience got into it. It was interesting listening to the panel, but I don't think they're going to guess me just yet. I'm going to make sure of it. I had the best time slinking around the stage for my last performance. A good voice. This is a performer, not a reality star. I love her! And the best part is... They have no idea who this silver fox really is. Helen Mirren! Joanna Lumley. Kerry Katona. What if it's Sam Fox? I had the most fun out there. I can't wait to do it all again. They say you don't really know someone until you've taken a walk in their shoes. And playing this game certainly means being nimble and thinking on your feet. Professional yeah. tap. Oh, like tap okay. dancing. To survive, I'm prepared to foxtrot with the best of them. But I'm not going to let the pressure get to me. Maybe she's someone from Strictly, like Archie Bustle or Arlene Phillips. Ever since being a little box club, I've always followed my own path, wherever it may lead. Spent time in America. Oh, in America? Yeah. I've even broken oh, records. She's broken records? Like, oh, hit records? That? Tonight, I'm going to be bigger and bolder than ever and blow everyone away. She's got a great presence about her.
the States here and in America. So good. is in the house. Who is the fox? Yes, please. Fox, everybody. Wow. Wow. I took the liberty to stealing some of your dancers' glasses. That was incredible. The whole thing was so wonderful, oh, Rita. Oh, yeah. On the right. One of my favourite jams. You brought it down, honey. It was like a disco party. I loved it. Gonna be in my head forever. I really love your song choices. I think that you are a dancer, obviously, according to your VT. You are a singer. I do think you had maybe like a hit in the past. Kim Wilde, maybe? It could be. Good guess. Jonathan, have you got any ideas? I can't put my finger on your age. I think you're right. I think it's someone who has maybe had hits. Certainly you're used to being on stage. Yeah. Could it be even Arlene Phillips from Strictly Come Dancing, maybe? <laughs> She's still got the moves. I feel like everyone's kind of a bit all over the place. Well, we're thinking this. pop so star, difficult. or we're thinking... We're also thinking I, stage performer, aren't I, we? I mean, I think that they are, in fact, um, maybe a musical theatre actor. And that's where the connection is between London and Broadway. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm thinking maybe Tamsin Althwaite. Tamsin Althwaite. She's an amazing She's a great singer. singer. She must have learned how to dance in one of her appearances on stage at some point. Ken, I've got a feeling you're going to know who it is. <laughs> Here we go, yeah. I know exactly I All right, Ken. I who so. this is. Yes, please. This is by far the easiest one to figure out. This is someone who had success in the States, someone who has so much experience, someone who is a multi-threat, someone who is an actress, singer, dancer, maybe, I don't know, an Academy Award winner, maybe, I don't know, Catherine Zeta-Jones, maybe oh, someone maybe. like that who is an amazing performer, yeah. amazing voice, commands the stage, Catherine Zeta-Jones, welcome to the Mad Singer, Your Highness, Your Highness. Show some respect. <laughs> I can't tell whether the audience agree or disagree with that. I think they agree the <laughs> way they're not nodding. I can tell. <laughs> okay, Fox, I think you need some help. Can you tell us two lies and one truth about yourself? Considering how sly foxes are, something tells me you're going to be pretty good at this. Go for it. What's your first clue? I have. Award-winning body. Catherine Zeta-Jones, she won an Oscar. An award-winning yeah, Look at her body of work. Yeah. Award-winning body. Award Second body. one, please, Fox. Okay. I've been on tour with the Rolling Stones. On tour with the Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. And our third one, please, Fox. I was one of the first stars of reality TV. First stars of reality TV. Which one do you think was the truth out of that one, Rita? I actually think it might be the award-winning body. I mean, look how great yeah, she looks. Yeah, she looks amazing. Look she looks fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'd say you look fantastic, but then I'm just looking at the mirror and I can see myself. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Fox, you like that one. Being on tour with the Rolling Stones, that's plausible because she could have been a backing singer. It, if yeah, she wasn't, or a know, dancer. And, and they've had a lot of great singers with them over the years. Or supported them, maybe. Or supported them even, yeah. yeah. So if we go with yeah. your guess of Kim yeah. Wilde, there's a chance that's true. I was one of the first stars of reality TV. I don't think that's the truth. Oh, wait, Steps had their own reality TV show where we followed they them around. They did. Maybe H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ken, which one do you think was the truth out of those clues? Oh, definitely the award-winning body, award-winning yeah. body of work. She won an Oscar. I nailed it again, <laughs> undefeated. I love it. 
Well, Fox's identity remains a mystery until their mask is removed. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fox. Yes. <laughs> we love Fox, don't we? He's a great performer. Really so good, good performer. Very good. Our panel thought one of these celebrities was behind the mask, but who do you think it is? I always love being a fox, but tonight was extra special with all those foxy dancers, and I had a bit of disco going on. I loved it. In my last performance, I definitely topped the charts. Listen to the names being thrown out there. Kit Wilde, Tamsin Althwaite, Catherine Zeta Jones, Arlene Phillips. <laughs> Enough. You haven't got the fox just yet. Your baby. Clothes have always played a big part in my life. I do love a bit of glam. There's nothing like dressing up for a night out with the girls. Girl band. Yeah, possibly girl band. And I'm always the last one on the dance floor. Cause you're a baby! murder on the dance floor. Yeah. I used to model clothes too. It was a broken heel that led me to my big break. Quite an East End accent, which makes me think she's a stage school girl. Foxes are known for being crafty animals by design, and I'm no exception. Tonight I'm going out there on my own, and I hope it won't be my final curtain. Definitely a stage performer. Without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I close my eyes. And he has found me. And I know it's so. Beautiful performance. And although I know that he is blind, still I see there's a way for us. I love him, but every day I'm learning. All my life, I've only been pretending. Don't you worry. It was so great. Thank you so much. I think we've got a thing going on. <laughs> Karina, this is incredible, right? I don't know about you guys, but just as you hit that high note, Donnie and I both went, oh, we've got goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. goosebumps it all around. It was absolutely yes. beautiful. Yes, Fox. <laughs> the theatrics, particularly Joel's upside down picture at the end, was <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> The icing on the cake. I feel bad though, because like we've asked Johnny to come over from Las Vegas, and then you recreate on stage one of the worst corners of London. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at your VT, you had success. You said you had some hits under your belt, so it's murder on the dance floor. Sophia Lispector. Oh, oh, 
Look at you all smug there, like... <laughs> Davina, did the song choice help at all? It was quite a serious theatrical piece, and I figured that this woman has appeared in many West End musicals. If she hasn't, she should. She should. Yeah, she absolutely. absolutely. So I'm going to throw out there Denise Van Outen. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. She's been in stage here. She might have been over to the States. I think you're wrong, Davina, because that was a song from Les Mis. I've seen this person not doing that part, but I've seen this person singing beautifully on stage in Les Mis. It's Matt Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> from Little Britain, right there. Matt, you did an amazing job. <laughs> See what I'm left with? I told you guys. This is what I'm going to get all night. <laughs> hey, Donnie, Donnie's going to solve this for us, though. Yes, Donnie. That's a girl, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's from a girl band. Yeah. I'm going to go for somebody in the Atomic Kitten. Yes. So here's where I'm going to need a little bit of help from the panel, because I don't know all the girls' names. I think it could be Liz. I'm going to go with Liz the Atomic Kitten. And there was also Matt Lucas was in Atomic Kitten for a little while. <laughs> now, we'll only find out the true identity of our foxiest character once their mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fox. <laughs> That me so confused. It gets harder and harder, yes. Yeah. Has the fox outfoxed the panel? Or could one of these celebrities really be behind the mask? Just like a fox, I was feeling slinky and sneaky tonight. I hope the audience get behind me and I don't have to leave on my own. Last time, the panel thought I was giving them musical theatre vibes. All my life, I've only been pretending. But were they right in their guesses? Sophie Ellis Baxter. Denise Van Out. Liz from the Atomic Kitten. It's Matt Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. They'll have to wait to find out. The competition is really heating up now, but I've never been one to shy away from the spotlight. As a cup, I just knew I wanted to perform. So I cut my teeth in this business young. Okay, so she was a child star. Now as a mama fox, I want to work hard for my cup. <laughs> so she's got children. Parenting can be tough, but it's also super rewarding. Tonight, I'm going out there to party like I'm back at Coachella. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin? Like a house of cards, one blow from caving in. Do you ever feel, already buried deep? Six feet under screams, but no one seems to hear a thing. Do you know that there's still a chance for you? So musical theatre. Just gotta believe the light. And let it shine Just on the night Like the 4th of July Cause baby you're a firework Come on show them what you want Make them go up, up, and up As you shoot across the sky
Thanks, everybody! Ooh, that was so great, Fox. That was so good. Kelly. Amazing. I have so many questions that I know that you can't talk to me, but I feel like I know your voice. I feel like I've had a conversation with you before. Mm. You're a definite West End Wendy. I know that. I know I've seen you on the stage before. It's going to drive me bonkers, this one is. Sharon, did you enjoy it? I think a really strong performance. That song is really hard to yeah. sing. But I think you're definitely musical theatre. Davina. The musical theatre side of things, I was thinking possibly Louise Redknapp. Because she's been yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. She's got an amazing voice. She was yeah. an eternal. But it's the speaking voice. That foxy speaking voice is one that I know. And I can't get Denise Van Outen out of my head. <laughs> The speaking voice is Denise, but I think Denise is taller. Me and my mum also wrote down Billy Piper. You said Billy Piper. So I only you? said Billy Piper because she was a young star. I definitely think you're British. Definitely musical theatre. Uh, you might be like on the radio a little bit because you did sing on the radio, so maybe it's Sarah Fox. If any of us knew who she was. Oh, she's a radio DJ. Do you mean Sarah Cox, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sarah Cox! <laughs> so, to get more clues, we've done a bit of snooping in Fox's dressing room. Oh, right. Here's what we found. <laughs> Love it. Well, Dad didn't put a camera in my dressing room. From ALW. Break a leg is a theatrical term. Uh, definitely. Who's ALW? A-L-W. A-L-W. Yes, I saw that. Who is that? that? What? Who? Andrew Lloyd Webber. Correct, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Does that Andrew count as a Yes, yes it does. Andrew Maybe Lloyd she was in but Cats or... Has she been in Phantom, do you think? Maybe? Has she been in Starlight Express? She looks like one of the trains out of Starlight Express. That's true. <laughs> well, we'll only get to see that foxy face once they're unmasked. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fox! <laughs> She's so confident. Yeah. I said Lulu, but Lulu's got a stronger voice. Yes. What does the fox say? Have our panel been outfoxed? Who do you think is behind the mask? Kelly claims she knows my speaking voice, but have we ever had a conversation? You tell me, Kelly. Baby, you're a Last time, the panel mentioned a few names. Louise Redknapp. Billy Piper. Fox. Sarah Cox. Denise Van Out. But the panel threw this fox at bone. Fox. And gave me a second chance to dazzle. Wow. So here I am, and feeling foxier than ever. I didn't expect to get this far, and now we're this close to the final, I can almost taste it. Want to know who I am? Sweetie, I'm not going to spill the tea just yet. Although I do love a good British cuppa. Maybe she has served tea oh, in a drama. Oh. Maybe she's like in EastEnders or something. Time to take a swing into this week. Maybe someone who plays golf, a lady golfer. And put my all into my next song. I love you so.
It's amazing, right? Oh, Fox, you really didn't like being in the bottom two, did you? You came yeah. back blazing. Yeah, yeah. You've obviously got a lot of experience in performing. You have all these East End clues, so you've been in, I think, EastEnders or something yeah. like that. Maybe wild card Martine McCutcheon. That's great show. I know, she sings. I think you're on the right track there, because there are many fine performers who've done a lot of stage work while they were in EastEnders. I'm going to go for Tamsin Alfway. I think that's a great yeah. show. I think that's a great show. We're in the same world. Yeah, we're in the same world, yeah. absolutely. Davina, do you agree? So I'm thinking somebody who's really stage experienced. My heart is telling me Denise Van Out, who we have mooted around before. I know exactly Here we go. <laughs> who we go. this is. Again, this game is so easy if you just put your mind to it. Someone who is an amazing musical stage actor. Someone like, I don't know, Elaine Page, maybe? <laughs> Even though I know she's starting Cats, but this was the only outfit available. Think about that. <laughs> Fox, Cat, there's a golf club at the end. Little yes. known fact, look it up. Elaine Page is a golf nut. <laughs> True story. Seriously, you should hear her yell for it. It's amazing. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Elaine Page. Congratulations right. on a bravura <laughs> performance. <laughs> we'll only find out the face under the fox once the mask is removed. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fox. What does the fox say? Oh, good. So good. He really thought it. Yeah. What does the fox say? So who's behind the mirrored mask? On reflection, do you think our panel are right? Getting closer to guessing me, but they're still way off the mark. That means Fox and Hedgehog, one of you will be performing again tonight, and the other will be revealing their true identity right now. The Mars Singer returning to perform again later in the show is. Congratulations to the rest of you. Give it up for our celebrities. <laughs> Let's hear it for Fox, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Fox. I'm going to miss you. Really am. Fox, I'm so sorry, but your time on The Mars Singer has come to an end, and you will be revealing who you truly are. So, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Jonathan. I'm going to say Tamsin Althwaite. Yeah. Rita. I'm going to go with Martin McCutcheon. Martin McCutcheon, great show. Davina, who are you going to go with? Denise Van Outen. Denise Van Outen for you. Ken. I see no reason to change my guess. Elaine Page. Elaine Page it is. Four great guesses, all very different. Let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity of our masked singer. Fox, who's behind the mask? Take it off! 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 Take it off!
and the Fox. Go Foxy. Denise, you absolutely smashed it. Like, that oh voice is so beautiful, right? What was it like being the fox? Well, it's been fun because I'm mischievous. Yeah. So it's been good slinking around and just uh, misbehaving. Every I'm going to miss the fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it like singing inside that mask? It's, uh, it's bizarre, um, <laughs> and it does feel really weird, but it, it sort of starts to become like part of you. Yeah. <laughs> and it starts to feel comfortable, and I think it's going to be weird for me singing without it. And what was your link with Andrew Lloyd Webber? What was that? I did a one-woman show for him called oh. Tell Me On A Sunday. Okay, in West okay. End. Did you take that to Broadway or you were something else in no, Broadway? No, I did that in London, but I did Chicago in London and Broadway. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 amazing. Amazing. So why did you do The Masked Singer in the first place? It's just, I do very musical theatre songs mm. and I never get to do these songs. Yeah. So a chance to do something completely different and have no inhibitions. It's been the best thing I've ever done. It's amazing. You've been so great on the Thank show. Thank you. Yeah. We love you, Denise. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, singing for us one final time, unmasked at last, ladies and gentlemen, Yay! it's Denise Van Alter. Yay! After the break, our four...